Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Well, he finally did it. Mad Mike Hughes took off in a steam-powered rocket. He flew, I think it says, 1,875 feet into the air Saturday. That's, what, a third of a mile or something? Before coming down to a hard landing in the Mojave Desert. He's a little banged up. So is his rocket, but they said it'll be okay. It's checked out by paramedics. Believes he said after being checked out by paramedics, I'm tired of people saying I chickened out, didn't build a rocket, I'm tired of that stuff. Manned up and I did it. And did it. Yeah, you sure did. No offense, but you're utterly stupid. As far as I'm concerned, Mr. Hughes, sir, let me explain something to you. If the Earth was really flat, we wouldn't have seasons. It would be impossible. If the Earth was really flat, you wouldn't have rivers and streams either. That's a long discussion, but uh. And you wouldn't have these things called trade winds over the oceans, either. 61-year-old limo driver converted the mobile home to a ramp and modified it to launch from a vertical angle so he wouldn't have to fall back to the ground on public land. For months, he's been working on overhauling his rocket in his garage. It looked like Saturday night would be another night. More than a string of cancellations, given that the wind was blowing and his rock was losing steam. Ideally, they wanted to up at 350 psi for maximum thrust, but it was dropping 340. Told Mike we could try to keep it charging up and get hotter, said Waldo Stakes, who has been helping Hughes with this endeavor. He said no. Sometime after 3 p.m., Pacific Daylight Time, without a countdown, Hughes' rocket roared into the sky. Hughes reached a, reached a speed that stakes estimated to be around 350 miles per hour before pulling his parachute. Hughes was dropping too fast, so, and had to deploy a second one. He landed with a thud, and his rocket's nose broke in two places like it was designed to do. The thing that wants to kill you... This thing wants to kill you in ten different ways, says Hughes, who set an old ran an altimeter in his cockpit to measure the altitude. This thing will kill you in a heartbeat. Yeah, no fooling, it's called gravity. That's another thing you wouldn't have if uh, the Earth was flat. Gee! Am I glad I did it? Yes, I guess. I feel it in the morning. I'll feel it in the morning, I won't be able to get out of bed, but at least I can go home and have dinner and see my cats tonight. And he goes on and on, uh, got permission to launch on land owned by Albert Okura, bought Amboy in 2005 for $435,000. Okura was in attendance at the event last about three to four minutes. Rocket landed about 1,500 feet from launch ramp, stake set. Mike branded us as Rocket Town McCurr said it was amazing. Mr. Hughes, sir, why don't you just take an airplane ride? I mean, I'm sure you can find some kind of a charter flight or something. Or just go up in a commercial airliner and fly at 20,000 feet. That's all you really have to do. You'll be perfectly safe as safe as any airline passenger is. And you won't have to risk your neck like this. Or even as I've suggested on YouTube before, Mr. Hughes, <sighs> for crying out loud, char take a hot air balloon ride and look around. I mean, that might even be sufficient. Unbelievable. You're 61 years old, you ought to know better than this. And I'll tell, tell you people another thing. 
Uh, those of you who say we haven't been to space, I watched the space shuttle go up once in person, not on camera. It's utter, it's utterly ludicrous. It's the things that are flying around in our atmosphere that people are seeing that we want answers to. Yes, we went to the moon. Yes, we're in orbit. Of course we are. And yes, we went to Mars. And yes, well... Okay, uh... I better leave that one alone for now. But, yes, we did. Mr. Hughes, sir, please, see a psychiatrist. This is all... This is all known science. You wouldn't have waterfalls, you wouldn't have streams and rivers, you wouldn't have seasons, you wouldn't have the sun rising in one place while it's sunning in another, so on and so forth, if the earth was really flat. Come on. Use your brain. If you're crying out loud, go to a garage sale and get a globe, buy a globe if you can find it. And use a light and put it on the globe and see what I mean. If you're crying out loud, use your brain. I'm artifacts of Mars. Oh boy. There's no shortage of kooks these days. Thanks for watching.